All right. All right, so we're going to start with a goblet squat. You can do it with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. We'll show you the kettlebell first. You'll just pull it right here by the handles up by your chest. And feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Toes turn just a teensy bit out. And you're going to sink down into a deep squat. And back up. With the dumbbell, you'll hold it a little differently. You're going to hold the hand of one. And I'll show you from the side so you can see how your back needs to look. We want to keep your back straight. Sit back with your hips. And up. So this is the same kettlebell or dumbbell. We want your back to stay straight the whole time, not rounded over. And you're sitting back, pushing your hips back. Knees should be above your toes, not in front. Keep your weight on your heels. We'll follow that with the box jump. So you just work your way up, whatever size box you're comfortable with. And you'll start without an approach at all. Just down, jump, land on the box. I prefer to step down, just because it's less common on your knees. Right down, jump, land. Try and land with your whole foot on the box, rather than just on your toes. A lot of people will box jump and land like this, and it's easier to slip and bang up your shins, and you don't want to do that. So next up is a half get up. So this is a, the first half of a Turkish get up. You'll start, dumbbell in one hand, that same knee up. You're going to actually shift your hips over, so you're just on the right side, and sit up. You can use this hand to help push yourself up, and down. Yeah. So I'll show you on the other side. Shift, keep the dumbbell right above your shoulder the whole time. If you come forward with it, it's hard to hold it up. So it needs to stay right there. If you look at it, it helps. You're going to sit up, use this arm, push yourself up, and back. Make sure also as you come down, you don't let it come back this way, because again, it's hard to hold up, it's heavy. You just want to have to balance it, not hold it up. And that's the half get up. Then we'll come in here. Next exercise is a line jump, and it's as simple as it sounds. Just find the line that could be on a volleyball court, basketball court, whatever. You could make an imaginary one, and you're just going to jump side to side over it. One thing to keep in mind is you want to keep your hips square to where you're facing. You don't want to rotate them at all as you're jumping. So you'll go 15 seconds, then you'll switch to where you're going forward and backward. Same thing, you want to make sure your feet are clearing it every time so I'm not landing here I'm all the way over and those are the line jumps next up is a kettlebell swing so this is primarily for your hips so you'll, you can squat a little bit but we want most of the movement to come from your hips and it's not an arm exercise you're not trying to lift it up with your arms you're just building momentum with the swing and using the momentum to keep it going I'm lifting it up by pushing my hips forward you can go all the way up, or you can just be here, it's fine. But it's back, thrust your hips forward. Again, like the squat, keep your back straight. So I'm here instead of here. And that's the kettlebell swing. Next is the mountain cross climber. The mountain climber is this. The cross climber just means I'm going to bring left to right, right to left. So the last thing we're going to have you do is a leg crank circuit. It's uh, specifically for leg endurance and they're miserable. We'll start with one set. Eventually we'll work up to three or four sets, but one round of leg cranks is 24 of everything. Um, lunges, or I mean squats, lunges, split squat jumps, and squat jumps. I'm only going to do four of everything to keep the video short. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to do your squats really fast, but keep good form. You want to make sure your thighs go all the way to parallel, and it's four, 
24 speed squats. Again, I'm only doing four. Right into 24 lunges. You want to make sure this knee goes all the way to the ground. Again, keep an upright posture so you're not leaning forward. Then right into split squat jumps from a lunge or jumping. And switching your feet, land soft. And then you'll finish out with squat jumps for 24. Again, make sure on the squat jumps you're going down so your thighs are parallel to the floor. And one time through, 24 of each. That's it.